so what's up guys how do you do welcome to the program users tv in this class we're going to see how to filter a list view based on a spinner okay so you can see right here we're able to spin uh, filter a list view depending on the categories so we just select the categories right here and then we're able to filter our list view as you guys can see right here so if you select all we show all the items now if you come select the planets we show only the planets yeah so by the way this is not a planet right here this should not be a planet but if we come select stars we also show only the stars and if we select the galaxies we show only the galaxies this is what we're going to build so join us we start off so once the project is ready first we'll come to our build of cradle the module app now as you can see right here we're not using any dependencies so we come and then we're going to move over to our layouts we have only one layout activity main dot xml so in this side this layout as you can see first we specify now just ignore the warnings right here okay it's everything is right so we come we have our list view right here as you can see we are going to place it below the spinner then we have the spinner which we'll be using to filter our list view then we'll have the text view right here which is basically our header label so these are layout right here okay now yeah we have it right here at the root we have the relative layout Alright, so let's move over to our main activity, the Java. My aim is to do this tutorial in less than 10 minutes, so we'll try to move fast. We have only this particular uh, Java file that we're working with main activity, but it's going to have two classes, as we're going to see in a short tutorial. So first, of course, we create the class, so the class we call main activity. Now, we're going to add some imports, imports that we're going to use. Then we're going to make this class extend the activity. Once we've had done that one, we want to make sure that as an activity, it needs to be registered as a component in the Android manifest.xml. So we go ahead, make sure that it is registered. If you generated your project using Android Studio, then that's been done automatically for you. Then we'll come right here first and foremost. We're going to declare our list view, android.widget.list view, then android.widget.spinner. Then we're going to have this array adapter of generic type cosmic body now cosmic body is a, a a custom class that you're going to create in a short trial basically our application is going to show cosmic bodies the cosmic body can be a star it can be a planet or it can be a galaxy so we're going to use the spinner to filter if it is a star we can filter the stars we can filter the planets we can filter the galaxies okay so we're going to have an array adapter of these cosmic body then we'll have of course as you can see the categories you're going to hold them in a string array so first we have the all now all categories will basically give you show for you all the items that we have now planets will show you the planets stars will show you the stars well galaxies will show you the galaxies so let's come create this data object class okay what we also call a pojo class plain old java object this class is going to define for us this entity that we're calling a cosmic body okay now this cosmic body is going to have a name so we create we give it a name private string name now the cosmic body is also going to have a category id and it is this id that we'll use to f um, identify the category onto which that cosmic body belongs then of course we'll come right here have our getter method get name will return the name then get category id will return category id then we're going to create a constructor now the constructor will take in a name as well as the category id and then set them to our local name as well as the category id then of course two string right here now if we invoke the two string we're going to return the name of that particular cosmic body so yeah that's our project class we've defined it we will now come and then initialize our list view on spinner so private void initialize views then my spinner equal to find view by id r dot id dot my spinner then i also set the adapter to the spinner my spinner dot set adapter we insert our array adapter passing the context which is this then android dot r dot r dot simple list item one then we pass in the categories so that will set of course our categories to our spinner then having done that one we'll also come and then initialize our list view using find view by id then of course 
in insertate the array adapter and pass it of course the context the layout that you're going to use as well as get cosmic bodies now remember some of you guys may wonder of course where this simple item one is coming from well it's actually a default android layout you don't have to specify it it's basically represents a simple text view that will be sh used to show our list okay so you don't have to specify it that's why you are seeing we're having android starting with android so it's actually available in your sdk get cosmic bodies is a method that will define in a short while that will return for us all the cosmic bodies then we'll listen to the spinner selection events so my spinner dot set on item selected listener then we pass in the listener new adapter view dot on item selected listener then of course we're going to override these two methods on nothing selected when nothing is selected and then on item selected so as you can see on item selected is passing us an adapter view a view object the position of the item as well as its item id so all we need to do we'll check if position is greater than or equal to zero and position is less than categories dot length remember categories dot length is the categories if that's the case then we'll call get selected category data and then pass in the position now we'll see that method and why we're using the passing the position later on now if that's not the case then we'll just show a toast message saying that selected category does not exist okay so basically what we're saying right here we, our positions right here the positions of the items are going to correspond to the category ids that we're going to assign our cosmic bodies so let's come right here and create this method called get cosmic bodies the method is going to return for us as you can see an array list of generic type cosmic body so the method is private we're going to inside it first we're going to instantiate the array list of cosmic bodies and have it as data so data equal to new array list then first and foremost we're going to clear this particular array list okay so we'll come then and say data dot add then new cosmic body then we add in the mercury and then we're assigning mercury category id of one all right so basically one writer in fact is even in our categories you can see one writer corresponds to the planets where zero is going to be all two will be stars and three will be galaxies so yeah we add them mercury inside our cosmic body can specify the name and category id now we'll continue and do the same thing with all the other for example we have the ui scatty we have the andromeda right there now andromeda in this case we give it category id of three basically representing um in this case a galaxy okay now the vvc a in this case category id two representing a star so we can add in as many data as we want right here you can see assign them different category ids and then have them all in our array list okay i've added quite a lot of data then at the end of the day we're simply returning that particular array okay right here so get cosmic bodies sorry returning that array list get cosmic bodies is going to return that particular array list that is full of our cosmic bodies so next we're going to come right here and then we're going to create this method called get selected category data now this method is going to check the category id then it's going to retrieve the data from our array list that corresponds to that particular category id so we come right here all we're going to do is first we instantiate an array list called cosmic bodies then we're going to check if category id equal to zero okay if that is the case then we'll instantiate our adapter and then pass in this which is the context then pass in the layout then in just in uh, passing the get cosmic bodies zero in this case is going to correspond to all now this is going to bind all our data of course into our adapter okay so next we're going to come right here. let's try move a little bit faster then we'll come if category id is not zero then we'll come and check right here of course uh loop through our cosmic bodies okay and check if 
cosmic body dot get category id is the same as the category id that we've been passed then of course cosmic bodies dot add we add the cosmic body so that's what we'll do then at the end of the day we instantiate our ray adapter passing the cosmic bodies which we've actually filled with our data and then we come right here we set their list view adapter to our list view so my list view dot set adapter we pass in the adapter then of course we're going to override our own create method when the activity is created this is what we're going to do we'll set our content view r dot dot, dot activity main then invoke the initialize views so that's it let's run the project okay let's run the project and see what we have so yeah if we run the project at first all is selected uh, you can see it's able to show us all the cosmic bodies now if i come select the planets it's showing me only the planets if i select the stars it's showing me only the stars and if i select the galaxies it's showing me only the galaxy so uh, go ahead subscribe to our channel program users tv like this video share it and make sure you visit our website campusha.info we're going to attach the source code right there take care i'll catch you in the next class